Hello everyone and welcome. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can change the controls at the bottom of your iPhone lock screen, which is something you are now able to do in iOS 18. To swap out the controls, you have to first go into lock screen edit mode, which you can do by tapping and holding on any empty space on your lock screen, then tapping customize at the bottom, and then selecting the lock screen on the left. Now that we're in edit mode, you can see next to each of the controls at the bottom of the screen, there's now a minus sign. Which So on either of these, I can tap on that to get rid of it. So if I look at the camera, I'm just going to tap on the minus, and that's now disappeared. Now if I wanted to, I could just leave it at this, and I would now just have no icon in this place of where the camera used to be. So that's nice if you want to have a cleaner look to your lock screen. In my case, though, I'm actually going to tap on the plus, and from here I'm taken to the control gallery where I can select from any of these controls. So these are just system controls that you can choose that will perform any of the actions and it's all they're all very straightforward. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this one that says open app. If I tap on that, it's going to prompt me to choose an app. If I tap on choose, I now get presented with a list of all the apps installed on my device. So I can scroll through this list to find the app I want, or as I'm going to do, you can tap on the search bar and search for the specific app you're looking for. So I'm going to type for YouTube, tap on YouTube, and then tap off of that prompt. And now YouTube has been added to the bottom right of my lock screen. I'm going to exit lock screen edit mode by tapping done in the top right hand corner. And then by selecting the lock screen I've just edited, and you can see that I now have in the bottom right hand corner of my lock screen the YouTube app icon. And if I press on that, YouTube is launched straight away. So this is really handy and it means you can quickly access almost any function that you want on your iPhone directly from the lock screen. Now if I go back to my lock screen and just get rid of these notifications, another thing to note is that these controls that I've just set up are linked to this specific lock screen. So if I tap and hold on the lock screen and swipe across to select another lock screen I have on my device, you'll see that the controls have actually gone back to what were there before because the YouTube app icon was linked to the other lock screen I had. And if I go back across to the one I just edited, you can see I now have YouTube appearing again. So this means you can have multiple sets of controls that you can switch between depending on what suits your needs at any specific point. If you found this video helpful, then please hit the like button. And if you've got any questions, then do leave them in the comment section of this video. Please do also consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.